Yo, it's Jermaine Dupree. We live in the ATL, and I'm cooking up for the 35th anniversary of the NPC. Got it. I remember the guy saying, you should get this. And I was like, what is this? And he was like, get this drum machine. It's an MP. I remember just looking at it like, this is gonna be crazy. I was in my room for hours making beats, making beats, making beats. I got to a point where I just started learning this machine, like the back of my hand, like every piece of it. Like I would go sample and I'd be like, oh. And that's when I fell in love with the MP. <laughs> Speed up one piece and connect it. It feels, I like that. <laughs> to me, MPs, they adapt to the character of the producer or the beat maker or who that other person is. And back in this time period, you had to sample your own sound and you had to figure it out. How you want to plug to sample your sound so that your sounds can be loud or whatever it is. Just learning that process of just like sampling, having louder samples than everybody else and finding an 808 that nobody else has. And so it allows you to just make your beats and your rhythms to your character. It made for the character of Jermaine Dupree. You know, the thing about the MP is that every time I do a project, I learn something new to go into the next project that I didn't do in the MP, but I learn it inside the process of making whatever record that I'm making. When you talk about the Usher record, so on Confessions, a lot of the kicks are layered once I learn this, the hi-hats. And it just, like I said, it just gives you this dynamic of like listening to sounds almost as if they're already mixed or if they're being mixed right in front of you. The 3000, I personally believe that the 3000, something in the 3000 pumps the beat out harder. Now, I don't know what that could be, but I just know when I used to hit the beat on the 3000, it just sounded so much louder and it sounded like it had so much more force behind it. It made my R&B records sound like rap records. Okay, so let's go back in here. What I love about the new MPs is that in the past, a lot of things that I wanted to do, I would have to find a way that I would figure out how to trick the drum machine to doing it. These seem like they have answered all of my callings and all of my trickery that I have tried to do doesn't need to be done. So for that, for me, that's just a breath of fresh air and it, it, it allows me to stay on the drum machine for hours. Uh -huh. I have wanted this for the longest. Cause you know, like the way that sexual healing sounds, it's because of how the tune is on the 808. Yeah. And the beat is doing this thing. You have to have this in order for that to sound like that. The very first one, the very first one takes me back to like, a, like jump. It takes me back to crisscross. It, like that's the drum machine that I made jump on. Then that was basically my jump start into the music industry. That's crazy. I've been wanting to do that. I see why younger people, when they see me working on this drum machine, they say, oh my God. Looking at this new 35th edition, uh, anniversary edition of the MP. It makes me proud to know that I I saw the original and I worked on the original and I actually made a hit with the original drum machine. So I can't wait to make one with this one. Came out, man. 
man. We was all trying to listen to the drums and that thing because like the production was so crisp. Yeah. Album, yeah, it's it's it was it's definitely this guy right here. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. this guy right here is a is a beast. Yeah. <laughs>